Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be working in the viewport in Unity. We'll talk about the different viewport modes and a little bit on the inspector. To visualize what we're doing, we need to add a cube to our scene. You can do that by going to Game Object, 3D Object, Cube. The viewport has six modes, Hand, Move, Rotate, Scale, Rect, and All Transform. You can either click on each icon to change the mode or you can press Q, W, E, R, T, Y to change the mode. The hand tool is just another way to pan the camera and the rec tool is more powerful when it comes to the user interface. So we'll be talking about this in a later video. In move mode, you can move your object by two ways. You can click on each one of these arrows or you can click on these planes that are in the middle here. And when you click on these planes, you're moving the object according to two of these axes. In rotation mode, you can rotate an object on three axes. Pitch, roll, and yaw. If you select this outer ring, you'll rotate the object according to the camera. And if you select between two axes, you can rotate the object in any direction that you want. In scale mode, you can scale on each axis, or you can uniformly scale an object, scaling on all axes, by selecting this middle cube and scaling it up and down. The All Transform tool gives you access to move, rotate, and scale all at once. In this mode, you can, you can move on all axes and you can rotate on all axes, but scale is limited to uniform. If you come over to the inspector under Transform, you'll see Position, Rotation, and Scale. These are related to the modes we were just in. So you can adjust an object by using those modes, or you can come into the inspector transform and you can enter numbers manually, or next to each one of these boxes, if you hover over the letters, you can click and drag to adjust the number. So I'm gonna zero these out except for scale. When working in the inspector, one way to remember which axis you're adjusting is RGB equals XYZ. Red, green, blue is XYZ. Next, we need to talk about global mode and local mode. If you come up to the toolbar, you'll see this icon called global, and if you click on it, it'll say local. Another way to change it is pressing X on the keyboard. So if you go into rotation mode and you rotate this object, you'll notice that the gizmo didn't change and went back to where it was. It's called global because it's related to the world. Now, if you go into local, you'll notice that the gizmo is tilted now. It's locally aligned to the object. This can be helpful if you want to move, rotate, or scale an object locally to where it's at. Now, another thing to point out related to local and global is that move, rotate, and scale all have a local mode. And if you change it to global, move and rotate have a global mode, but scale is actually always local. Now, all of the modes and transforms that we talked about in the 3D viewport are exactly the same in the 2D viewport. The 2D viewport is actually just a 3D compressed down to two axes. All right, guys. In the next video, we're going to talk about grid settings and snaps. If you like this video, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.